Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss one more question which came in the Wipro written test previously. These kind of questions will help the students who are preparing for Wipro and other companies written tests. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me read out the question, then I will discuss the solution with you. Look at the question. A company wishes to encode its data. What is meant by encoding? The data is in one form. You want to send it in another form so that no one can understand what you are sending. The data is in the form of a number. So the original data is in the form of number. They wish to encode the data with respect to a specific digit. They wish to count the number of times the specific digit reoccurs in the given data so that they can encode the data accordingly. So this is your data, this is your specific digit. What they are saying, you have to count how many times this specific digit has been occurred in the given data. Look at here, 4 is the specific digit. So you need to check how many times the 4 is repeated, 1, 2, 3. Am I right or wrong? So the output you should get it as 3. So this output 3, they will send to the another person so that no one can identify the original input. Now what we have to do, write a program to find the count of the specific digit in the given data. See now as we are humans, we can say that okay 4 is here, 4 is here, 4 is here. So we said 3 times it has occurred. But how a machine can understand? The machine can understand only if you write an algorithm or a program. Is it clear? So it is our duty to write a program because it is not a what kind of question? It is not an aptitude question. This is a program question. If it is an aptitude question, directly you can say the answer is 3. But this is a program question. They asked you to write a program. So first, if you want to write a program, you need to know what is the logic behind solving this question. Once you identify the logic, you can easily convert into a program and find, finish your task and select in a Wipro company. Look at here. What is the task? Suppose let's take that. 577 and the given digit is 7. Now they want to find how many times the 7 has been repeated. So what I will do is that I will write while n okay if this one I will store it in k and this one I will store it in n. So this is my input n which is 577 and this is the specific digit they have given which is stored in the variable k. So what I will do is that if k is equal to is equal to n modulus 10 then I need to increment the count. So what I will do I will take some count variable initially I will initialize it to 0. Whenever k is equal to equal to n modulus 10 I will increment the count. So I will write count plus plus which is a post increment. Then what I will do n is equal to n divisible by 10. Look at here what will happen. Initially, n value is 577. Now, while n, if it is other than 0, then the condition will be true. If it is 0, the condition will be false. If the condition is true, these statements will be executed. So, as 577 is other than 0, this condition is true. If this condition is true, you can execute this statement. Again, this is a condition. If k is equal to n modulus 10, what is n 577? 577 modulus 10 modulus operator will always give you the reminder 577 modulus 10 will get the reminder as 7 now k is what 7 7 is equal to 7 yes if this condition is true you can execute the statement count plus plus count is initially having value 0 0 plus plus you will get 1 is it clear then what you have to do n is equal to n divided by 10 division operator will give you the quotient 577 by 10 you will get the quotient as 57 is it clear now again you will check the condition okay while n n is 57 it is other than 0 so the condition is true if the condition is true again we have to execute the statements if k is equal to is equal to n modulus 10 what is 57 57 modulus 10 will get you the reminder as 7 and k is also 7 7 is equal to 7 this condition is true if this condition is true, you have to execute the statement count plus plus. Count is currently having value 1. 1 plus plus will get the value as 2. 
then you have to execute the statement n is equal to n by 10 57 by 10 will get you the quotient as 5 <coughs> so now the n value becomes 5 again while n 5 is other than 0 so again the condition is true if the condition is true we have to execute the statements if k is equal to n modulus 10 5 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 5 and k is having the value 7 7 is not equal to 5 so this condition is failed if this condition is failed you cannot execute the statement directly you will execute the statement if this condition is true you will execute this one and you will execute this one if this condition is false directly you will execute the statement n is equal to n by 10 n is having the value 5 5 divided by 10 will give the quotient as 0 okay so now n value is up becomes 0 now while 0 once it becomes 0 the condition becomes false if it is other than 0 then only the condition is true once it is 0 the condition is failed if this condition is failed you will come out from the while loop and then what you have to print you have to print the count value which is 2 that is what they are asking for you so i hope you have understood how can you solve this question now let me write a c program to do this entire task okay <coughs> so if i want to write a c program first i need to include the header files one header file I need to include is stdio.h which is standard input output header file to use the printf and scanf functions. Okay, then I will write void main. Main is a function. Always the functions will have the written type. If you specify the written type as void, this meaning is that this function does not return any value. Now first what I need to do, I need to declare the variables. One is n. Another one is count. I will initialize the count with 0. Okay. And another variable I need to take it is key or k or digit anything you can write. Okay. What I need to do is that first I need to ask the user to enter the data. Enter the data. Backslash n which is an escape character to go to the new line. Okay. Once the user has entered the data, we need to read it with the help of scanf function. Scanf function will take two parameters. One is the format specifier. As you are reading an integer, you have to specify the format specifier as percentage %d. Another one is address. So the address what you have to specify address of the variable. So that's why I use ampersand n. Then I will ask the user to enter the specified digit. enter the specified digit backslash n I am writing then I am writing scan of function percentage d and percent k now what I will write I will write the logic for counting the number of times the specific digit has been reoccurred so while n if k is equal to equal to n modulus 10 okay then what you want to do you have to do count plus plus okay then you have to write n is equal to n divided by 10 okay this is your while loop then you can write the statement print of percentage d the encoded data is percentage d you can display the count okay then you can write the get ch and you can close the main function this is the way you have to write the program now let me discuss this program with a simple example to do that one i need some space so let me erase this content so that i can use this space to explain the program for you let me take the input as okay some number we will take nine six nine seven eight okay is it clear now the specified digit is k is having nine okay now i want the output is it clear so n is how much nine six nine seven eight they have taken and k is what they have taken nine is it clear i hope it is visible for you let me highlight with red color 
now while n the condition is true or false we need to check n is other than 0 if it is other than 0 the condition is true if it is 0 then the condition is false as it is 9 6 9 7 8 is other than 0 the condition is true if this condition is true what are the statements which are there in the while loop you can execute what is the first statement if k is equal to equal to n modulus 10 9 6 9 7 8 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 8 this will give you the 8 and k is 9 9 is equal to 8 no 9 is not equal to 8 so this condition is failed if this condition is failed this statement will not be executed then lot of students would have got the doubt by this time sir you should have written the curly braces and end the curly braces if only one statement is there then curly braces are optional okay so if this condition is true i want to execute this statement then i want to execute this statement if this condition is false directly i want to execute this statement is it clear as this condition is failed so directly it will execute n is equal to n divided by 10 division operator will give you the quotient 96978 quotient is 9697 now look at here while n 9697 is not equal to 0 it is other than 0 you as it is other than 0 this condition will be true so if this condition is true you can execute this statement k is equal to equal to n modulus 10 9697 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 7 k is 9 9 is equal to 7 no this condition is false if this condition is false we will not execute the statement we will simply write n is equal to n by 10 so 9697 by 10 will give you the quotient as 969 969 is other than 0 again the condition is true so you will execute the statement k is equal to equal to n modulus 10 969 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 9 and even k is also 9 9 is equal to 9 so the condition is true if this condition is true count plus plus count is initially we have taken as 0 so 0 plus plus will give you the value as 1 n is equal to n by 10 969 by 10 will give you the quotient as 96 96 is not a 0 it is other than 0 again this condition is true so now k is equal to equal to n modulus 10 96 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 6 k is 9 9 is not equal to 6 so this condition is false you will execute the n is equal to n by 10 96 by 10 will give you the quotient as 9 while 9 it is other than 0 the condition is true so what you will do you will check this condition if k is equal to equal to n modulus 10 9 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 9 9 is equal to 9 yes the condition is true if this condition is true count plus plus count value is 1 1 plus plus will give you the value as 2 now n is equal to n by 10 9 by 10 will give you the quotient as 0 is it clear now look at this one while n n is 0 as it is 0 the condition is false is it clear if you cannot understand like this you can write it as n not equal to 0 also is it clear both are same only so n is 0 so the condition is false if the condition is false it will come out from the while loop it will execute this statement print of the encoded data is percentage d count what is the count value 2 that is the meaning now we have taken 96978 the specified digit is 9 how many times it has been reoccurred two times so that is what they want the output is it clear so this is the way you have to solve this question i hope you have understood how i solve this question if you still have any doubts related to this question or related to the concepts what I have discussed in this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.